founder of the setup comedy enterprise, still living at home with the family. <sighs> yeah, well, actually, my parents are dead, so um, kind of a source. All subject. right. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, my uh, my team didn't include that in the uh, question. I'm sorry about that. So, oh, it's recent. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to So Happy Hour, and now your host, Silly Obey. Uh, thank you so much for being here to the So Happy Hour. Make some noise one more time. Let Yay! us hear you. Uh, oh. Yay! The Oscars were last week. Did anybody watch the Oscars? Yeah. At the Oscars, Anthony Hopkins uh, took home the Oscar for Best Actor, beating out Ooh. the late Chadwick Boseman. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Yep, exactly. Ooh. The Black Panther got snubbed to the White <laughs> Saber Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow was seen at the Met Gala wearing no pants. One spectator was reported saying, I smell candles. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner is running for governor of California. This is actually the first time Jenner has ran since the 1976 Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of politics, Arizona is officially doing a recount of the presidential election this late. <laughs> Can you believe it? And turns out the winner is Bob Dole, 1996. <laughs> <laughs> the remake of Mortal Kombat has been met with mixed reviews. Yes, some moviegoers have given it one ninja star, while others sub-zero. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's what I thought. Speaking of fights, the UFC held their first full capacity fight this weekend where 15,000 plus fans came with no masks. That sounds like a bad decision. That sounds like such a bad decision it could only have been made by a UFC referee. <laughs> the CDC says that vaccinated people no longer need to wear masks outside. They didn't say anything about being inside with no pants. Huh? <laughs> You're not alone, Gwyneth. So uh, construction of a Canadian oil pipeline was halted after the discovery of a hummingbird nest in the area. Aw. When asked, the hummingbird said, actually, we're Native American. And then the pipeline resumed construction. <laughs> <laughs> After years of development, a tech company in Spain has created a robot that can cook with no human assistance. Yeah, let me guess, toaster? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of useless robots, Elon Musk. <laughs> no, he's not useless, he's doing some things. Elon Musk says that Mars is for explorers who will probably die. Meanwhile, Earth is for homebodies that will certainly die. <laughs> Take that, Mr. Musk. Listen, we agree that the Oscars was a huge flop this week. And in lieu of the Oscars, and not because our show got snubbed as well, the So Happy Hour, <laughs> the So Happy Hour is hosting our own Oscars. And you all are quite underdressed, but we will still proceed. <laughs> so everybody, welcome to the K Oscars. Okay, get it, Kevin. Okay. K, the K Oscars, whichever way it sounds better. <laughs> We've made a lot of new hires this year, uh, but nobody higher than Ruben. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Paula, Paula's iPad looks very confused. Ruben is one of our regulars, and he's always stoned out of his brain. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Brenda is in the house. And uh, judging by the size of that wine glass, <laughs> she ain't leaving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so everybody, welcome to the Chaoscars. Usually we, you know, obviously designate the uh, somebody else to do the award, but uh, we're a little bit understaffed. So I will be reading the best award, the awards. Uh, the first one is uh, award for best audience reaction. Best audience reaction, um, we have uh, Aaron with his inaudible laugh and lean, inaudible laugh, lean and clap. He does the laugh, lean and clap, the LLC. Uh, for those of you, the regulars, you know what I'm talking about. Jin Lee with the smirking, the smirking Stonewall. Okay. And then uh, Ruben with the torch lighting bong. All right. Again, Ruben is normally here. He's not here for whatever reason. All right, so. <laughs> 
And the winner is... Uh, it's that one couple who started having sex during my set on February 25th. <laughs> <laughs> and the next award goes to Best New CDC Mask Rule. All right. So first is uh, no masks for fully vaccinated outdoors. Or will it be okay to attend events if fully vaccinated? Or indoor dining for the fully vaccinated? And the winner is Gagging Tucker Carlson. <laughs> Great, 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 great. And then finally, the award we've all been waiting for, okay? The best So Happy Hour game show host, okay? Is it Keith Oliver? Is it Little Catamaran? Is it Keith Oliver in a British accent? And the winner is, ooh, Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> Right. I have something else written here in the script. <laughs> so, am I missing something? No, no. I was. I'm disappointed that I did not win. Um, and that's, you know. But I understand Anthony Hopkins, and I understand. I'm not even doing a game tonight, so. I honestly didn't even write write that. I I, I think it was the writers, man. I. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna be, are you gonna be okay, man? Yeah, I'm cool. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Sam. Uh. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. Okay. All right. Uh give it up for Keith, everybody. It's not <laughs> let's go ahead and uh welcome our guest today. Um this next comedian. Uh, amazing guy, worked with him for many years. Uh, he's the founder of the Setup Comedy Enterprise. Um, and you can catch him on all social media. Everybody welcome, Mr. Richard Sarvate. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everyone? Uh, How's it going? It's going good, man. Wow, you put a lot of production into this, uh, into this show, man. You Thanks so much. I like how one of our audience members couldn't tell if you were being sarcastic or not. Um, <laughs> I feel like you spent at least five dollars to get that snoring sound effect. <laughs> I think we you went did. To we did five and downloaded. Yeah, it. yeah. They didn't have any snoring on the free sites for sure. Just, uh, just uh, like uh, sleep talking. That's all they had. Um, well, you want to make sure you get that one twenty eight bit uh, wave file. So. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of production value, my look at you with you got you got great headphones. They're not falling out of your ears. Thank um, you. Yeah, thank you for noticing. I got my uh, red curtain, curtain, but uh, it is. Uh, if you want to peek behind the curtain, my uh, mattress is on the floor. So, um. <laughs> could you show us? Could you show us a little bit? No, that's it. Yeah, the, see my mattress. That is the, the mattress is on the floor. Yeah, we're looking through a mirror, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's actually a mirror. So. The <laughs> There. It's in front of you, yeah. Because I was that would be more interesting if if you're like your room was behind you and you were doing this in your hallway, like for whoever else oh, yeah. lived in your. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, my mom and father are over here. Um, <laughs> I call them my mom and my father. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Founder, founder of the setup comedy enterprise, still living at home with the family. <sighs> yeah, well, actually, my parents are dead, so um, kind of a source. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, my uh, my team didn't include that in the uh, question. I'm sorry about that. So, oh, it's recent. Don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it happened uh, 30 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for still showing up, man. Uh, uh, you look at you look as about as okay as Keith did a few minutes ago. Um, yeah, uh, actually, okay. Look, here's my impression of Keith right now. <laughs> that's all uh, so uh thanks for thanks for joining us today um yeah, dude, i know you're busy me. of course uh you're in la right i am in la aren't you in la not at the moment i will be in about 24 hours uh, i'm gonna start walking right after the show <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. But I love the dedication. You're like, but first a talk show. Yeah, of course. 
yeah, I, 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 I like to be in my head about everything that went wrong on that, that uh, 24 hour walk. Oh yeah. I definitely uh, need 24 hours after a bomb, you know, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> that was weird when I <laughs> said that thing about Chinese people, you know? <laughs> uh, I, for a moment I thought like, did I say something about Chinese people? In that? Okay. Oh no, he's talking about his, okay. He said, he said something. All right. It's fine. It's fine. It wasn't it, me this time. That's the problem when you think when you think like a racist joke is going to work and then it doesn't and you're like, oh, wow, that takes like a solid day to get over. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's uh, it's it, it, I think it makes it hard that, you know, you and I were both like uh, ethnically ambiguous brown dudes so we can get away with a little more racial humor, yes. which makes us be a little more risky when we do it and then it can go horribly wrong when people realize that you're just a human being and you shouldn't be doing it anyways. <laughs> I, know. I know. Dude, one time I was doing a college show and uh, five minutes into a college show, the show, um, a black kid walked in late and I just looked at him and said, typical. And um, oh, oh no. And I had 55 minutes to go after that. So, uh, <laughs> oh, no. but if people actually confuse you and me uh, for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, my mom. Um, <laughs> I think it's like a Richard lot of from your mother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah people have. Are, what, are you from Fremont? Yeah. Yeah. I lived in Fremont. Yeah. I grew up in Fremont. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't think we've ever talked about this before. Well, let's hash um, it out, dude. Yeah. I guess uh, <laughs> that one. My script <laughs> says, I don't think you've ever told me you're from Fremont, Richard. <laughs> Oh my God, that's crazy that we didn't prepare a 10 minute segment on this. <laughs> <laughs> what, I didn't know. Okay, so when when did you live in Fremont? How old were you? Uh, from 94 to 2002. Dude, so, um, that's, I, was, I was around and I was selling weed, man. We could have connected. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, you're, you're like an intellectual pothead, right? That's like your thing. Uh, I'm, a, I'm more of a pothead intellectual. Gotcha, <laughs> pothead first. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <that's weird. laughs> I did. I did. Uh, I did. I, sm I started smoking when I was 13 and um, I maintained a, a 4.20 GPA the whole way through. Wow. Just way to flex on everyone right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I there's drugs. also there's also a pot joke in there with a factor of 10, but I guess nobody really cared. Um, <laughs> uh, with Sammy's joke, you have to break them apart like a. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, okay, you, were you, there layers? Was there satire? Yeah, you have to go to the chat and put 4.20 yeah. uh, times 10 equals 420. <laughs> I tapped out in math. I uh, during um, I actually tried to do a math major in college, but during partial derivatives, I just tapped out. I was like, we were talking about how to c calculate the heat at different points in a rotisserie chicken. And I was like, I'm, I can't. I need to... I need something practical. Like, I don't know how to make money by calculating heat in a rotisserie chicken, you know? <laughs> uh, I mean, you, you, you ended up doing, uh, what, what did you end up majoring in? Computer science. Okay, so, so then how is that useful? <laughs> <laughs> how is computer science useful? Yeah, I was a computer engineer for 10 years. And then, uh, really? and then you know, naturally decided to go into stand-up comedy. <laughs> so what did you do as an engineer like like what was your daily routine uh, oh in, man, in, the, in the workplace i yeah. used to work at yahoo i used to work on yahoo mail <laughs> yeah that's usually the reaction that i get yeah it's like it should be impressive that i worked on probably one of the largest email you know services in the world but people are just like oh i'm so sorry <laughs> Like anytime I tell someone I work on Yahoo Mail, they always say like, I remember Yahoo Mail. <laughs> <laughs> I actually still have a Yahoo Mail account. I just don't use it anymore. But <clears throat> some people do send me messages there and I check it once a year. Oh, um, great. Yeah, you're using my it is a Yeah, it's a, it's a life hack to uh, be able to ignore people for a long amount of time. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, no you sent it to my Yahoo? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Right. I should, yeah. A lot of people used to tell me like, oh yeah, no, I use my Yahoo email for spam. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. My life is spam. 
it's like uh yeah that was like a weird time because yahoo is like so disrespected you know like um i remember like in 2013 when the, the in san francisco they were protesting the google shuttles because they were like oh these shuttles are taking people from san francisco to mountain view and these rich techies they just want to live in the city but work somewhere else and everyone was so mad but like i was in my yahoo shuttle just going by totally unnoticed <laughs> <laughs> When you left, yeah. <laughs> just tell me when. Just tell me when to go and tell me when to stop for each question. Actually, I'll just say yeah. Um, now you can talk at the end of everything. I'm <laughs> Do you have a green light? Do you have a green light? All right. I will. Um, <laughs> uh, so when you left Yahoo, were you already doing stand up? Yeah, I overlapped. I started stand up in 2011, and then I actually quit Yahoo in uh, 2016. So yeah, it was like five years of doing stand up and engineering. I always like to know when people like they leave like a good stable job like what was that moment like what how what gig went so well that you were like yeah <laughs> fuck this tech money oh man no, it, it wasn't a gig going well it was my job going so bad like <laughs> oh yeah like literally in my last performance review my coworker wrote about me it was it was like feedback about richard it said richard oftentimes looks lost in conversation <laughs> I was like, oh, thanks for the feedback. Like, wow, I'll, I'll, I'll work on that. And then I, I would get into like random fights with my coworkers. Like um, one time at lunch, uh, I wanted to sit in the sun and they just wanted to stay at the table we were at. And so I went <laughs> yeah, and I was like, let's go sit in the sun. And so I went to go sit in the sun and nobody came with me. Oh, yeah, oh. totally. And I got so mad, I went back to that table and I said, you guys are just fucking like, I, what do you, I don't know. I was like, because uh, my, <laughs> my boss, my boss was sitting at that table and my boss didn't move. And so I was like, oh. you guys are just like looking at who's the boss and you're just following that because you're just an automaton in a factory. <laughs> <laughs> and then I quit after that, actually. Oh, man. And uh, were you lost after that in conversation? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean, if this is any indication, I can concentrate great now. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, so, uh, so, so it sounds like you left and you never even really thought twice about like, should I have done that or not? <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean, you know, I left a lot of money on the table, but, um, you know, uh, no, I never really thought. Because, dude, it was so bad, like, like I remember I would, uh, I, I was doing a project at Yahoo and then I was working so little that my boss would slowly put other people on the project with me just to like actually get it done. And then by the end of the quarter, everybody else had just done my work for me. Mm. And, and I just was like, I'm a, you know, I'm a sham, you know? And I just couldn't live with that guilt anymore, so. Well, uh, now here you are guilt-free, yeah? Guilt-free comedy? <laughs> Yeah, no, I haven't done anything today that I should feel guilty for. <laughs> <laughs> so you so you, you started comedy in 2011, uh, you quit your job in 2016, and then you founded The Setup, which, you know, let me just tell the audience here who has never attended a setup show, one of the best run shows, uh, first of all, started in San Francisco, but now you, you, you also expanded to LA, you did an online thing, um, mm -hmm. but... Uh, the original brick and mortar you could say is san francisco and it's an amazing amazing room like such a fun place to tape shows and stuff and uh when did you start start all that yeah it's a it's in the tenderloin which is the worst neighborhood in san francisco the most dangerous like it's got a literally you walk over heroin needles to get to the venue and um we started that in 2015 february 2015. Wow. but it's like <laughs> i don't know why i threw in the thing about the heroin needles but it's like it uh <laughs> Yeah, Richard, this is a heroin addict crowd. So you kind of, uh, I think you may have like lost this a little bit there. Everybody's like, yeah, I would, I think I'm just going to stick with the needles and not go to the show, bro. Um, <laughs> well, the good thing about San Francisco is that you can get clean needles anytime you need to. There you go. Everyone nodded so uh, like knowingly. <laughs> we all know the life hacks of clean needles, Richard. This is, a, uh, again, we're all in rehab here.
but uh but yeah it, it yeah so it's in the tenderloin and um it's uh an amazing room and you know you since moved to la when did you move to la what motivated that move yeah i moved in 2017 i just wanted to see what was up you know it's like uh i just change cities once every 10 years because um i don't know that's like you know what i mean like if you do the same thing every day your life is actually getting shorter mm -hmm. Yeah, like time goes faster if you do the same thing every day. So I was like, whoa, it, I, like one day I just woke up and I was like, whoa, like four years went by. And then I was like, oh, I got to like leave San Francisco just so I can see like a new coffee shop, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually funny because um, last year in 2020, we did a sketch together at the beginning of the year, like when things were still normal. Mm -hmm. And we just we had Richard for like a, a like a short scene in the beginning, and he had like wait around while we had to shoot some things first, and then he disappeared from set, and <laughs> um, and I was texting him like, where the f are you? You're like we <laughs> like we need you right now, and then he shows up like 20 minutes later with a cup of coffee and like a bag of like baked goods. He's like, oh, to, I went to a coffee shop. I love coffee shops, <laughs> and then he's like, want a scone? <laughs> yeah, I've definitely gotten very zen. Uh, I'm just like you know. <laughs> What do I feel right now? Like, I would love a coffee and a scone. And uh, <laughs> I think Sammy would respect that. He didn't like our craft services. Um, we just, I, don't I think we just had there being any craft services. No, there was no craft services. That was a, that was a bad joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, but but uh, but since then, uh, you know, with the pandemic, you've made a lot of content. Your uh, your TikTok blew oh, up yeah. last year. Yeah. Okay, how many crazy. how many how many followers do you have on TikTok now? I have like one point five million followers right now for some reason. One point five million. Yeah, that's crazy, man. How many of them are here? Let's see. I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think iPhone maybe is from TikTok. <laughs> I brought Dr. Brenda, I brought uh, Kara, so I guess the rest are you. Yeah, I'll take credit for that. Uh, I'll, like all my fans on TikTok are seven years old, so I don't know if, <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know if seven year olds have access to Zoom. And uh, They're not so. allowed to go on Zoom at this hour. <laughs> no, yeah, I think all, they're all asleep. But you know, it, it is actually interesting having fans on TikTok because TikTok fans are just people that have short attention spans, right? And mm -hmm. uh, so they don't necessarily translate to like anything longer than a minute. True. Well, they can't. Yeah, I guess they can't. They have no choice. <laughs> yeah, no, like literally if we made this podcast into a TikTok, uh, this would be like, <laughs> we, we probably have recorded a hundred TikToks so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we do. We, we chop all of these. We put them up on TikTok. So <laughs> dude, that's a lot of content, uh, a lot of content. Um, so that's awesome, man. And, and I know that one of your most popular, uh, productions was, uh, night of the living Karens. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. For yeah. those of you who haven't seen it, uh, amazing series, uh, and all, I mean, each of these were one minute flat or shorter. Yeah. Um, and yeah. it's a, it's, it's a story. And, and I believe you played not only yourself, but you also played Karen in this one. I did. Yeah. So, uh, basically, um, I'm a, I'm kind of. I'm myself, but I get into a fight with a Karen and then she bites me and uh, I get the Karen infection and uh, <laughs> I start slowly transforming into a Karen. And um, yeah, it's like and uh, the virus, it spells out the uh, the word Karen on my arm and uh, the more letters that show up, the closer I am to being a Karen. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great. You know, like I got to wear a blonde wig and I got to just yeah. yell at people in a parking lot, which you yeah. know, is very cathartic. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hilarious season. Everybody should uh, series. Everybody should check it out uh, on it's on your Instagram, too. Yeah, um, yeah. So uh, we're actually going to play some games. Uh, speaking of Karen's, you uh, you down to play some games, Richard? Let's do it. Yeah, I'm a playful guy. All right. Well, uh, let's bring on our game host today. Uh, I guess Keith's not uh, not doing it today. Uh, okay, let's uh, bring on Jeremiah. Well, hello, Richard. How are hey. you? Hey. What's up, Jeremiah? Hello, hello. Any uh, regrets yet about this? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> regrets? Yeah, I didn't. I regret that I didn't do this sooner. All right. Well, <laughs> let's let's make some more. Um, so this is Karen choose your own adventure. So it's going to be a, a choose your own adventure um, with a little bit of improv. So. Uh, in the scenarios, I will uh, point to you every now and then for you to finish off the line uh, as Karen. So in this scenario, you are full-blown infected Karen. Okay. Uh, the last stage. Um, <laughs> all right. So here's our scenario. Stage uh, four. Stage four, Karen. Stage four, Karen. Yeah. It's, there's stage, no stage six. Stage, well, st well whatever. I'll, I'll shut up. <laughs> oh, go ahead. It's your show. I, I'm just a guest here. Um, no, Richard, so Richard said shut up. Oh, okay. I, I thought I heard it. So. Um, all right. So, Karen, uh, you and your, your BFF, Kelly and Crystal, are at the newest uh, brunch restaurant, Barf. Um, we are currently enjoying your seventh mimosa. Uh, the hostess has told you uh, the wait is going to be 30 minutes. You check your watch, it's been 32 minutes. Do you ask for a manager or do you call the police? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm full right now? Yeah, no, I just walk into the kitchen and start yelling. Okay. I'm going to take that as ask for a manager. Okay, yeah. Oh, we, we only I, pick one of the two. Okay, got it, got I, it. I haven't branched for that yet. I can't write that fast. This took me a month. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry, I, didn't, I didn't understand the rules of the game, and that was my issue. No, that's my issue because I'm the host, actually. That was my fault. I, I'll take responsibility for that. Wow, I love how empathetic you are. I am. I am. Oh, only for the show. After this, I'm a monster. Um... <laughs> Okay, so uh, would you like to ask for a manager or would you like to call the police? I would love to ask for the manager. Excellent. This is uh, egregious, yeah. You storm up to the manager and you read his name tag, Caesar. Ugh. You begin, you begin speaking to him in beginner Spanish that you learned from high school. <laughs> this is, this, uh, I didn't realize this was a talk show where I get canceled immediately. <laughs> It's, it's, it says recording on my screen right here. <laughs> That's for the blackmail. Um, the, the manager rolls her eyes, uh, his eyes, uh, and in perfect English, she tells you that a table just opened up. Um, so it, now you and Karen are sitting at the table, and before you even order, Crystal notices a woman is breastfeeding her newborn baby only eight tables away. <laughs> you are immediately outraged. You lean into the table like you're going to whisper to your friends, and you shout to them. Get those titties back in your shirt. <laughs> and that's when you. <laughs> and, and that is when you realize that you are the only one who can correct this gross injustice. Do you A, confront the mother, or B, call the police? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to, I think this has gone above and beyond just speaking to the person. We're going to need authority here. Let's call the police. Excellent. So <laughs> you demand that story connect you to the authorities immediately. Um, you make sure to yell into the phone loud enough to the, uh, for the mother to hear as you make your police report, which you say to the police. Uh, there is a woman with a, a large pointed object uh, attacking everybody in the restaurant. <laughs> the mother and her and her elderly grandparents are mortified they throw down some money and they leave the restaurant phew that was close uh you order another round of mimosas from someone else's waiter to celebrate hell yeah back at the table <laughs> back at the table you and the and the, the girls can finish your meal uh you, you, you guys polish off the last two pitchers of mimosas which was your lunch mm -hmm. uh and you stumble over to the busboy to ask for a check now the bill is $79.50 and you give them a hundred dollar bill, but only get $20 back. You were shorted 50 cents. This is an outrage. You stand up and you scream. This is America. I want my tax dollars. <laughs> <laughs> the manager is fed up. He walks over and he asks you to leave right now, but you just paid That's stealing. You tell the manager, I own you. I own this establishment <laughs> and I own this land. You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> okay, the manager reaches for your arm to drag you off. Oh no, you're being attacked. You pull out your uh, Dior des uh, designer bear mace and you spray him in the face. But you actually miss and you hit the candle on the table, lighting your Lululemon yoga pants on fire. As you scream, 
As you scream, you, you yell out. Is, is someone smoking marijuana in here? <laughs> <laughs> and those are your last words. <laughs> now, every Sunday, Barth is a bottomless mimosa to celebrate your death. <laughs> Some say that when a customer is charged extra for guacamole, they can still hear you whispering. <laughs> that is it. Thank you so much, Richard. Wow. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> That's the end of the story. Yeah. Woo! Thank you, Jeremiah. Choose your own adventure. Hope that maybe inspires the second season of Night of Living Karens. Yeah, I feel like we just wrote a whole movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was I all improv. Yeah, I didn't realize that guacamole was so un-American until just now. I love guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to play one more game. Uh, this is hosted by our resident game show host, Katie. Woo! I'm sorry, I'm no Keith. Um, I guess he's really upset about it still. So I'll hear about it next time we have a meeting. I'll be <laughs> muted very quickly. Um, classic white woman silenced. Um, just kidding. Okay. So we are going to play another game. Um, and this one is called real hack or real whack. I was told to do this. Um, so Richard, I hear that you were once a computer programmer. Mm -hmm. um, what programming language would you consider as like maybe the one that you're most familiar with? Uh, Java. Java. Okay. So um, that's what I would have guessed. Java or C++. We have some other ones um, um, that we have researched thoroughly as writers. We're very, very computer savvy. Mm -hmm. um, and some of them are real and some of them are not real. And um, I'm going to give you some descriptions of them. And I want you to just take a guess whether you say it's a real hack or real whack. So real hack is they're real and real whack is they're fake. And, Got it. Thank uh, you for the translation. Yes. I just wanted to make sure we understood that because I didn't understand it. It was, it was a little too confusing for my brain. So I, I just needed to make sure. I love uh, clarity of articulation. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So our first one is just chicken. Okay. The only word that you use um, to to program is the word chicken. So everything is chicken, 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 chicken. Is it real hack or real whack? Uh, this should be a real language, but uh, I mean, I'm going to go with real whack. Bark, bark. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, it's real. It's oh. a real hack. Wow. This is I, why I'm a. This is why I'm a stand-up comedian now and not a programmer. I don't blame you. I don't understand yeah, you anything. Look, you look happening. a little lost right now, Richard. <laughs> chicken? What's chicken? <laughs> yeah, the temperature of a rotisserie chicken, Richard. Might be useful after all, huh? Yeah. Uh, yes. Speaking of chicken, what kind of chicken do you like? Uh, like dark meat, white meat, a little bit of both are you vegetarian uh-huh yeah no i hate dark meat okay well then you're not gonna like this, <laughs> whoa, whoa, you're not gonna like this next one. i was just no, i was trying to sound racist no i uh <laughs> <laughs> no i like uh i usually go for a mixture okay good um because this next one is called <laughs> dark taint okay speaking of dark meat uh it's identical to javascript which is something you're very familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, but the semicolons are replaced with an asterisk because it looks like a cute little butthole. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, usually a semicolon is used to end the line and it's usually like stop here. So I think, uh, you know, an asshole is a perfect metaphor for stop here. Okay. Do you think it's a real hack or real whack? Uh, I think it's, well, I, this could be a real language. Like you could program that, but I'm going to say it probably isn't real. Um, but I don't know. Some programmers are like, they, they have like a dumb sense of humor. So maybe a uh, real hack. Real hack. Yeah. What's the answer? It's Oof. not real. Oof. Not real. But that oh. X does look a little bit like a butthole. It does. <laughs> like a, not as cute as an asterisk, but it's pretty close. Yeah. Um, the, ne <laughs> the next one is Trump script. 
So is this a real a hack or real whack? So instead of true or false, it uses keywords that are like facts or lies. So things that Trump had may have said or phrases of Trump, our favorite person, right? Uh, I think this is probably one of the best programming languages, uh, if not the greatest. I say <laughs> this is a real hack. You would be correct. Yes. If, yes. <laughs> One out of three. If this was baseball, I would be killing. It's true. It's true. It, and if it, you were Trump, you'd still be killing. Um, <laughs> Is this a liberal talk show or? <laughs> what are you talking about? We were praising Karen on the last one. That was all true. Yeah. Yeah, um, I just came off of Ben Shapiro. I don't know what the. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our next one is Malbalge. Malbalge, I had to pronounce that one a couple of times. Um, it's named after the eighth circle of hell. And this code satanically alters itself as you write it. So as you're writing, it's correcting itself. So you're going to, straight to hell. Wait, <laughs> as you're writing, it's correcting itself? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I've never heard of this, but I think it seems would be weird for you guys to have like tried to have come up with this. Let's, like, <laughs> let's come up with a fake language that sounds kind of real. I don't know. And I don't know if you would have come on mall ball, mall balls. <laughs> so I'm going to say this is a real whack. That would be God correct. Damn it. <laughs> real. It's real. Um, yeah, we're not that smart. We wouldn't be able to come up with something like that. Um, the next one, though, <laughs> watch out. This one might stump you. It's called Hitler Plus <laughs> Plus. Choose wisely here, Richard. Don't fuck this one up. <laughs> um, this, one, this one's going on TikTok for sure. Yeah, for sure. So been, we don't want to screw this one up at all. It's being live streamed to Twitch right now. Everybody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> My answer here determines the future of civilization. Um, well, Plus Plus in programming means uh, plus one it just increments the counter one time mm -hmm. yeah right. so there's just more hitlers infinite hitlers in this situation. i'll give you a hint it, it was used to program parlor mm -hmm. <laughs> it was updated and its original name was calculator spelled with a k um this language was actually invented by hitler it doesn't actually work well so you, uh so okay uh this seems uh, this seems real i would say this is a real hack it's whack it's not Ooh. real <laughs> wow. i bet i bet uh i bet stalin plus plus is a real language that's what i was trying to pitch i was like stalin that's maybe, totally maybe believable. i was mixing it up with stalin plus plus and yeah. um and pol pot plus plus Ex that's what exactly what i was thinking too um well speaking to the last one uh Rit so hitler was a real dick so the last one here is penal code <laughs> uh, <guys> love puns. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, um, okay, this seems like uh, something Sammy made up. So I'm just going to go out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, take a guess. Take a guess. Yeah, no, just use well, penis this, over and over again. I mean, penis, this, penis. Like, if, if this isn't Sammy's joke already, he should just put this in his head. Because this is, like, <laughs> this is exactly his comedy. So I'm going to go with uh, Real Hack on this. Real Hack? It's this Real Hack. Really, oh, it's sorry. Real, real Whack. I meant Real yeah, Whack. I meant, he was no. He, he he meant Sammy the comedian. Real hack. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Meanwhile, Sammy's like back there, like trying to make this actually happen. No, uh, it's not real. I, you're right. Yeah, and and I I didn't write it. Uh, one of our writers did, but it is going into my act because I am a real hack. Yeah. It pushed oh, yeah, really totally. hard for this one. Yeah. No, I can see Sammy doing this tomorrow. He's like, uh, <laughs> have you heard about that new programming language that helps you program your dick? It's called the penal code. You know, it's going to be like. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, as long as uh, I can be in the front row of the audience and you can just scream penis, penis, penis over and over again, I'm all for it. Sammy, go for it. No, the joke is going to be more something like, you guys know you're not supposed to whip it out in public? Yeah, it's a penile code. <laughs> Come on, everybody. <laughs> Come on. Wow, this, yeah, this sounds like a Me Too uh, thing to happen. Great. Yeah. This is like, uh, this is like the most offensive talk show ever. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Yeah, you thought, yeah, you thought you were coming to a safe space. You were wrong, man. Yeah, I thought this was Sammy. I thought I was like, oh, yeah, like clean, fun comedy for children. And uh, <laughs> we've talked about Hitler. Uh, we've talked about 
penises and um, mostly that. <laughs> All <laughs> topics. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you, Katie. That was it, right? That was the end mm -hmm. of the game. That was the last one. Thank you. Fantastic. Katie. Thank you so much, Katie. Give it up for Katie, everybody. Woo. Uh, Richard, that was fantastic. That was so much fun. Uh, you did, I think, miss everyone in that, in that, uh, uh, game, but that just goes to show you made the right choice in being a comedian. Yes. <laughs> what? Ask me questions about stand up. Oof. I'll get at least two <laughs> out of four. I mean, <laughs> Carlos Mencia, real hack. Um, <laughs> I mean, he's so, like a so good Richard, amalgamator. Yeah, sorry. You're right, right, exactly. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining. Um, uh, where can people find you? I mean, we've already put your stuff in the chat, but anything else you want to plug coming up we should be on the lookout for? Yeah, uh, I, my podcast is really fun. Uh, it's called Assembled Correctly, uh, if you want to uh, listen and hear stuff. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Uh, thank, you guys. thank you so much for having me. This is uh, this is fun. I this is very like I, I feel present. You know, it's so different from stand up yeah. where I'm just like these are my jokes. My name's right. Richard. Here's a joke. Right. My my on my end, I, everything I did today was scripted. But I'm so glad that you improv through it all. Um, <laughs> I felt like a real human being. That's crazy. I was like, oh, you have to like think and then say something based on what you're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to show this to all your, your uh, sorry, I said Google, Yahoo coworkers, just to show them. You are not lost in conversation, my friend. <laughs> Dude, finally, yeah, some retribution. Yeah. Well, you deserve it all, man. Um, again, thank you for stopping by. Uh, everybody check out Richard's uh, uh, podcast and Richard uh, Sarvate on all social media. Let's give a hand for Richard. Thanks so much for joining, my man. We will see you very soon, sir. Have a great rest of your evening. Uh, behind that curtain. Yeah. Behind the iron me. curtain. <laughs> See you all. Bye. <laughs> Can you exit? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he just walks right into the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, um, coming up next, we have an amazing musical act. Uh, they are coming all the way from Minnesota. Everybody, please give a nice Warm welcome and clap it up for Corsair! I'm gonna play a song called Relinquish. This song is about pirates and it's gonna get loud and heavy, so hope you enjoy <laughs>
Yeah! Give it up for Corsair! Ooh. That was amazing. That was awesome. Really, really sounded really, really, really good. Really, really good. Uh, it's hard, you know, it's it's hard to get a good quality sound for these musical sets, and you guys really nailed it. So thank you so much. Um. All right, everybody. Did we have a good time today? Make some noise. Ooh. Thanks so much for joining us on the So Happy Hour. And we actually have an update on the KO Oscars. There was a recount, and the winner of the game show host is uh, we gave it to Chad Chadwick Boseman. We gave it to Chadwick Boseman. <laughs> but we'll come back next time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's it's. It's for Keith, everybody. Give it up for our resident game show host and executive producer, Keith. He's been crying the whole show, everybody. Yes, that's that's why my phone is off. I was like, he normally you. has the camera on. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all so much. Uh, love hosting the game. Yeah. And it's been an honor. And I will see you all again. Thank you. We'll see you all next time. Thanks so much. One more hand for everybody tonight. Our guest, Richard Servate, Corsair, and the amazing KO writing staff, executive producer, Keith. Thank you so much for attending the So Happy Hour. We love you all. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks with some more awesome guests. We'll see you soon. Woo! <laughs>